You're such an asshole. AssholeConsulting.com. Banging it out late night here at the corporate headquarters. Hi, Aaron. Big fan. I have a desire to do electrical engineering at university and redo high school as I didn't choose the required subjects to do the course when I'm older. First of all, I have to save up for both as you have to pay if you're above 18. I recently decided to take an IQ test, namely the general intelligence test on Queendom's homepage. I scored 117. Well, there you go. You know you can do it. I have scored close to this mark on other online Q tests, so I would say it's accurate. Yeah, no, you're within the ballpark there. The problem is that the average IQ for an electrical engineer is 126, which is 11 points above mine. I'm from Britain. I got A's in math and science and when I was in secondary school. It's not impressive, though, as it was extremely easy. That's because you probably have a good math brain. I, that's, a lot of people think, oh, you know, math is easy, you know, so therefore math must be easy. It's like, no, you, you, there is... There are people that struggle with math. Now, everyone can do math. It's whether you put forth the effort or not. But some people have a natural gift for it. So, um, yeah, so that even more evidence you should go into engineering of some kind. Uh, but it do with the right subjects in college to prepare for a university engineering degree. By college, I mean the two years of study before university as the education system is different in Britain. I will have to redo college and then go to university to do a master's degree in engineering if I want this to happen. I plan on doing this in a few years, and I am 18 at the moment, so I have enough time. My question is simple. Will I be able to do a university-level electrical engineering master's degree given that my IQ point is 11 points, IQ is 11 points below the average? This question can also apply to whether or not you reckon I'm able to receive a bachelor's degree in engineering. Also, will my grades from college be a good indication of my ability to do well at university? No, I don't believe that. Um, my grades sucked, except in math. Math, I was just I was good at because it made sense, and the teachers were a bunch of fucking bitches. Um, so, and, and we even had bad math teachers, but math had a finite answer. There was a logic to it. Uh, so that is that. I, I would not listen to your grades from college or high school or the, the edu elementary education system, whatever the equivalent is over in Britain, uh, because your IQ is primi primarily determinant, and then also you aced all your math. And that, frankly, in my world, that's all that really matters. I know in the real world, you got to do other things. You got to play nice in the sandbox and. You know, you got you can't rock the boat. I understand that, but your your ability, I would not worry about your previous school's test scores. English is whether you can kiss ass. Uh, history is whether you can memorize. God Almighty, and English history is a royal pain in the ass. I mean, the United States. Thank God, we only got 250 years of, of history and some major events in between. I've been listening to the English history podcast. Oh my fucking God. It's been around for so long that and it's just repetitive. It's always repetitive. It's not until, like, okay, the Vikings come in. Oh, then there's the Anglo-Saxons. Oh, and then and Philip over in France hates your guts. Uh, what Richard the Lionheart goes off to the Crusades. Um, and then, oh, I, I got ahead of myself. Before that was um, 1066, the guy, William the Conqueror. So, but even then, in between these 100, 200 year periods, there's just the same repetitive bullshit. So that is not an end. That's just memorization. So I, again, I won't worry about those type of grades being any kind of determinant as to whether or not you can, you know, do electron valence configuration or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> also, not to mention, I'm nervous about going to university. So exactly how much harder will the work be? Well, it's going to be harder, obviously. The issue is you got to try. Look, let's just admit it. You didn't try. You didn't try in the the previous uh, classes you took. You didn't take the hard stuff. It could be because you weren't channeled that way. You didn't know. You didn't know that you had this high IQ. You just had no incentive because it was boring as fuck. I'm imagining the public schools in Britain are not much that more exciting than here in the United States. Um, so, but, but in the end, you did not give forth your full effort. Uh, I know I put in maybe a quarter of my full effort in high school in K through 12. And when I got to college, then I put in my entire effort and worked full time and went to school full time. So I would not worry about that. You, you just got to put in your, put it, look, you owe it to yourself for one point in time in your life to try your best. And the reason is very similar as to why you took that IQ test, to find out what you're capable of. All right. But however, whereas the IQ test is theoretical, Say, okay, you are capable of achieving this level of IQ capacity, the engineers of the world, stuff like that. 
Um, but that doesn't mean you've actually done it. That's just you took one test that took you 30 minutes or whatever it took you to do. That's one test for 30 minutes. Don't you want to see what you're really capable of? Don't you want to like give it your all so that you know? And it's f better to find out now at 18 than finally at the age of 50. Because one, you're, you're 18, you have the energy to do it. You won't have the energy when you're 50. Um, but it's better to do it now so you can find out exactly what you're capable of so that you have the majority of your life ahead of you, certainly starting as an adult, to make the most of it. So I would not be worried at all. Because the worst that would happen, okay, so you try and you'll find out whether or not you can do it or not. Um, all of a sudden, you just, you just can't pass this test. And then, then you can't pass this other test. And other people are, okay, then maybe there's some indication that you retool. Maybe you drop down to more of an IT uh, computer networking, computer programming type of world. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. That's fine. But I, I, when, I think you're over worrying about it. So to answer your simple question, will I be able to do a university level electrical engineering master's degree given that my IQ is 11 points below average? Hell yes, dude. Hell yes. May, maybe you got to try just that little bit more harder. Maybe. And keep in mind that's an average. You know Bell distribution curve. That means a, a half the electrical engineers have an IQ less than 126. That's the average. So 11 IQ points, that's, uh, and the standard deviation for electrical engineers, I would assume, is skewed to the left of the bell, because IQ in general tapers off right. You're on that right side of the bell curve. I bet you your IQ majors, you're, you're probably in the, I know that's the mean average, but I'm wondering, no, that would be, I'd be really curious, curious to see how that bell curve is shaped. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely no problem, dude. You should be able to handle this. I, I would not be intimidated at all. Um, go forth, do. You're not going to be hitting your electrical engineering classes right off the bat. You're going to you're going to be taking a lot of classes that will tell you whether or not you're running into trouble or not. Listen to that, uh, and then retool or repurpose your degree. But as it stands right now, you're only 11 points. You're 117. It's 126. <laughs> I'd be worried if you were 105, if you were 103, or, or, or one, uh, you know, 108, the one O's, uh, then, you know, uh, you're an elementary school teacher. But you're not. You, you, and, and on top of it, you have the math background. Because um, keep in mind that general intelligence test, that includes a lot of English and bullshit. Your math score is what really matters. And since you've been acing math this entire time, I, I think you're going to have no problem whatsoever. So, but, you know. Keep your finger on the pulse. Make sure you're doing all right. Give it your best. No fucking around. Give it your best. And I have a, I have a feeling like in four years' time, you'll be graduating. and say, oh, yeah, fucking Clario was right. That crazy bastard across the pond. So, anyway. All right. Wish you the best. Hope you the best of luck. I don't think. Don't lose sleep over it. Just give it your best for all those reasons we talked about before. Best of luck. Toodles.